born and raised here and like I fished in the South Pacific, I fished, you know, Alaska, I fished, you know, out of Hawaii and so I, I just like San Diego. It's nice to um, be close to home, see your house or uh, seeing from my house I can see my boats fishing sometimes so uh, my, my son's fishing or you know one of my boats is out fishing I can see him out there sometimes and for me that's kind of a neat thing. Business has changed with COVID. Um, I just think people are more cognizant of where they spend their money and how. Um, and I think it's almost become a luxury to feed your family at home. And people are getting back to cooking at home, um, learning more about where their food comes from. It's important to have access to local seafood um, because it's sustainable. And local food systems, we've known for a really long time that they're important for increasing food security, for um, economic stability, for providing jobs, and that's been really amplified during this COVID pandemic. COVID has disrupted the food supply which has disrupted the, the protein sources for the food bank. So we're getting a third of the protein that we used to get for meals. Demand has gone up, protein supply has gone down. Uh, and seafood is helping us to, uh, to fill that gap. Creating demand for local fish, we were able to not only put the fishermen back to work, but we're also able to deliver fresh and healthy food to our families in need. I think there's a, a lot of um, a lot of support, obviously, with the fishermen directly, and um, and with our program of craft meals and the chefs that we have on board, from being able to fabricate, you know, 300 pounds of fish in a matter of hours. You know, it's it's a not an easy task, but it's something that we can grow. And we hope to involve um, other restaurants, other chefs, more fishermen, and then again, grow the scalability to other cities. I really think it's neat uh, having the chefs come down and, um, you know, utilizing the fish and getting it to the public. So that's something that I, that I um, am passionate about. My favorite part of Fish to Families, I think, is not just fishing for fun, but then you get to fish for fun and for a cause. In the first four weeks of the program, Fish to Families served over 2,400 meals to San Diego families, homeless, and others in need during the pandemic. It's one thing to feed people. It's another thing to feed them with dignity and to bring a love uh, of what you're doing as a fisherman or a chef and love the people that you're, you're serving. It's an amazing program. You cannot believe how many people have never had fresh fish served to them. It's just been a blessing just to see the faces of people who come and get it and the remarks of the quality of food that we've been, they've been receiving. Giving back to the community is just a natural um, a natural concept that I think everybody has a little bit of, and it's hard to start it on your own, but when you have an organization that starts it for you that you can contribute to, um, I think is huge. This touches on everything that is important to me uh, for our community. Fish to Families can serve as a model for the rest of California and the rest of the coastal cities on how to redistribute our local fish to our local community.